the 2016 presidential election. Oh boy, what a ride it's been. And let's talk about it. Trump wins, okay? We're going to talk about a few things here. I'm going to talk about his top five promises. And I want to go back in time for a moment and go back to when I started the channel in 11. And one of my promises were to get deeply involved with the NRA, which I did. And I'll chat with Wayne LaPierre here just for a few seconds in this video. He's one of the men I want to thank. I want to thank a couple of babies here in a moment. Uh, colleagues, we're going to do that. You're going to enjoy that. And when I started the channel, I made the promise. I didn't realize that we'd be up against things like assault weapons ban and things like green tip not being legal. You know, and, just, and then all of a sudden Hillary running and she's saying she's going to abolish basically every gun on the planet in, in America that's available for sale for us. She's just going to get rid of it like her husband did. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm scared here. I, I was nervous if you saw me in the other video that she might win. So here it is, election night, and I'm watching, and I'm thinking, you know, you know, Vegas odds got Trump losing big time. There's no way he can win. And they're never wrong. And then... The polls had him down by like five points, eight points. You know, it, it, it was not looking good. It was ner I was nervous. But in the back of my mind, and I've been praying, I'm, I'm a spiritual guy. I was honestly praying for the th three months prior to the election that somehow Trump would pull out a win and that American gun owners, and this is what I honestly believe, made it all happen. The hundred million gun owners came out of the woodwork and said, uh-uh. Here is Hillary saying, we're going to go after the NRA. Everyone who supports Donald Trump is deplorable. And I'm not going to, you know, get into all that because she's the thing of the past now, thank gosh. And I want to make this a slammer right now, by the way. I'm going to get into that portion right now. You're going to enjoy this video. For those of you who respect the Clintons and are liberals and Democrats, that's okay with me. Do not dislike me because I like Mr. Trump and I like the five top things he stands for, in my opinion, which I'll tell you. But think about this. All these protesters going on right now, they're smashing in windows, they're smashing in uh, businesses. Yeah, imagine if you just pulled your car into a, a place of business and it just gets destroyed because of protesters and now they're, they're not going to college and things like that. They're out in the streets and protesting. Well, it's really not their fault if you think of it because if, if you think of a, a person age 26, for instance, you know, how old were they eight years ago when Obama took office? 16, 17, 18, in that area. So that's when you just start learning about politics. So unfortunately, the younger people in America right now were 16, 17, 18 when Obama took office, and, and they've been brainwashed for eight years to think, Oh, guns are bad, and to think all of his policies are right. So, with that said, I respect the fact, and don't hold it against me if I like Trump and you don't. Just we're just talking, okay? We're just we're all American. Reagan, we're all in this together. I was a child then. Oh, he's such a wonderful man. The way he spoke. If you ever want to get uplifted, just go watch a YouTube video of one of his speeches. And I hope Trump can do the same thing. With that said, with that said, I got to thank some of my babies. You know, my family helps me. I love my wife. I love my children. But 
I really, I really love my AK-47. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Arsenal. My little AK now has a home for a long time. At least four years, even longer, with his laws that I'm going to predict that he puts into place. We'll talk more about it. Oh, another baby I want to, I got to thank. Oh, oh, this six sour five, five, six pistol. I wasn't going to bring a whole arsenal out. <laughs> I brought these two out here for you. Hundred round. Oh, sure. I, oh, I love you guys. I love you guys. And you got a long life to live now. You'll be able to be for sale to the American public. No strings attached. Why? Because of the NRA and because Mr. Trump won. As a matter of fact, one of the people I want to thank is Mr. Wayne LaPierre. Let's go into a little clip right now with Wayne, right now. Mr. Wayne LaPierre, thank you so much for taking the time again, doing a promotional video for the NRA. My audience knows that I am a recruiter for the NRA, and Mr. LaPierre, please tell the world why right now is one of the most important times to join the NRA. Tom, I appreciate everything, first of all, that you're doing for the Second Amendment for the National Rifle Association. I mean, the truth is, it's no secret that people like Mayor Bloomberg are going to be out there spending every penny they have to try to take away this freedom. And uh, every single American that values their Second Amendment, values their freedom, needs to be out there working for it. All right, I've spoken away many times. And with all that said, I also want to shake hands with someone, and that is, look at that, zoom in on that, here we go, I'm by myself here, but look at that, Mr. Trump, I want to shake your hand, you're a, you're a man, he is a man who fought for the presidency harder than any other man in my adult lifetime that I've seen fight. Three, four days, uh, three, four times a day at different rallies, going to specific states, nonstop, nonstop, nonstop with his jet. And I was at one of them here in Boca Raton, Florida, and it was magnificent. His jet pulled into Boca Airport, and then he gets in this huge helicopter, like a military thing. He flies right into the middle, lands, and it was just a grand performance. And, uh, and hats off, Mr. Trump, I'm so proud of you. And, and I just feel like America's gonna go in a different direction now. No more, no more BS, let's just, Let's just move forward. Now, by the way, we have two years before there's another vote for the Senate. So we'll talk about that in two years. But the next 24 months, we can get a lot accomplished. So don't think that, well, everything's cool. It is cool now, for now. But the NRA, we need you even more than ever. Let's build up a lot. So in the next 24 months, so by the next election for the Senate, not the presidency, there's like 20-something seats, 24 I believe, up for grabs in 24 months. We gotta keep it going the way we want. You gotta join the NRA, the link's below. Okay, now let's move on. Oh, I also have to thank, wow, oh, the green tip round. Oh, this poor 5.56 five, was almost extinct because of Mr. Obama, he didn't like you. And Hillary Clinton really didn't like you. She thought you were evil, but you'll be okay now. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mr. Green Tip. You'll be fine. Just fine now, okay? I'll put you in your little cabinet tonight, along with your 15,000 other friends next to you, okay? And all my guns are going to be happy. You can tell I'm in a good mood. I'm rocking. Okay, now. Here is uh, my top five benefits that I think Trump thinks brings to the table. Um, in no specific order, but let's just start with this. Okay, these he made like 25 or even more campaign promises. 
these are my five that I really think make a lot of sense. And correct me if I'm wrong. And, and think of World War II, okay? The Nazis, okay? We know they're the enemy. So if you know who the enemy is, you fight the enemy. Nazis. Not all Germans were bad, but the Nazis were. Now, modern day. His promise is to put a temporary ban on Muslims so we can vet them. So when they're coming from Syria and places like this, we don't plop 600,000 into Michigan, 100,000 into Alabama, 90,000 into another state in Kentucky and here and there and everywhere. I mean, it just, and then think of it 10, 15 years from now, as everything multiplies, all hell can break loose. So, one of his promises is to temporary a ban on Muslims coming in so we can see who's coming in. It's common sense. They've been killing Americans on a worldwide basis. Another thing he's promised. Bomb the hell out of ISIS. Cool. Plus, let's take some oil money. I've always been wondering, like, you know, it's been 15, 20 years now, or since 9-11. And, uh, why don't we get oil money? He's going to bring it in. Bomb ISIS. Let's take control in a methodical way, in a businessman's way. He's going he's gonna to do it. He's going to do it. He's surrounding himself with the right people, with smart people. He's actually a humble guy. He's brilliant, in my opinion. Cut taxes. Another thing he promised, if, he, if his promise comes through, who's got a problem with having a bigger paycheck? Huh? It's more money to put into the economy. I'm in the financial planning business. It works. Instead of the government bureaucracy just wasting it on silly stuff. He's going to build the military. I'm down to number two, and then I'll give you my top one of his promises, in my opinion. He's going to build the military. Our military is at its lowest point since World War II, and it's, it's really bad. I know some people who work in the military, and they're appalled with Mr. Hussein Obama did in the last eight years cut it down to the bone. Well, Mr. Trump is going to build up our military to be the strongest in the world. Rock on. That's what we need to be. We need to be the leaders of the world with strength. We don't want to harm no one. We don't want to start no wars. No, none of us don't want to go to war. He doesn't want to go to war, but he wants to be prepared for it. And he wants to help our veterans. I have clients in the, my financial in, in industry who die early. They die in the 60s and, and at the 68, 69, and they could have easily lived into their 80s. Oh, but they claim, they, they claim the VA is going to save them. Uh -uh. They're on waiting list, waiting list, waiting list, and then they just die. He, Mr. Trump, claims He's going to help veterans. I like that a lot. And he's surrounding himself with people in his cabinet so far, with people who will help veterans. I like that. And the number one reason why I think Mr. Trump, thank God, won, and I do think God actually waved his hand over America and, and said, come on, enough's enough. We can't have no more corruption. But the Second Amendment, him being the earliest endorsement by the NRA, that's huge. It's never happened since 1873, having a president endorsed in March when the election's not till November. Earliest endorsement ever in the history of time of the NRA. And I work closely with the NRA. We're very proud of Mr. Trump. He's not going to let us down as far as guns. Everyone's going to think in the back of their mind, what about my state, what about my state, what about my state? 
I can predict that us at the NRA, please join my link below, we need more members, we can get things softened up in states now. We control, for the first time in decades, the House, the Senate, and the Presidency, the White House. The liberals are, are they're flipping out right now. They, they, they feel absolutely useless. They have no strength. Feinstein, she's got no strength no more. So, specifically in the next 24 months, we need some more members of the NRA because I'd like to now really push to get into states and say no federal funding for you. Uh, of course, I'm not the president. I'm going to ask the NRA when the NRA is going to ask the president and his team and it's a big government to, hey, let's lean up on some of these states here. So that's, that's my opinion. Let's make it all happen. If you're a liberal and you don't agree with me, don't dislike me for it. We're all Americans. We're all in this together. And all these people who are protesters, please grow up. I respect the fact you're under the brainwashing of Obama for eight years or for other reasons. You know, you may think that you're being done wrong, but it's all good. It's all good right now. We have a fresh start for America. I feel like I'm a whole new person. I'm very excited. So, thanks for watching. I got a lot of cool videos coming up. I actually invented some really cool flashlight myself in conjunction with a uh, major flashlight company that goes on the rail of your gun. And now I'm really, I'm really motivated now because it's like there's no, there's no more handcuffs on us or potential handcuffs. I get some air to breathe, all of us. Care about all of you. Throw in your comments on this one. Tom checking out. We win. We win.